Welcome to your daily writing habit, episode number 156. If you are writing a book or thinking about it, or maybe you've started writing your book and you're having some trouble finishing it, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh. If you're looking for me online, I am Christine Inc. I-N-K, like the stuff you write with. Each day I'm sharing with you the writing habits I've learned over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have found that three things in particular have a huge impact on your success, and they have the ability to turn a non-author, someone who doesn't consider themselves a writer, into a writer slash author. Those three things are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset habits. Since the live version of this episode is airing on a Sunday, Sunday, September 15th, actually, Rather than giving you tips about writing your me- your memoir or your book, I thought we'd kick back a little. And this is uh, every week, every Sunday, I give you examples of a finished product. So what I do is I read excerpts from memoirs, either my own or a client's, or we, we shall see where the Sunday story time takes us. So I call this Sunday story time. Welcome. And let me go to the Ink Authors uh, bookshelf here where I keep my client books. You know, I help clients write their books in various ways from book development services to coaching to act as their editor, their book producer, their ghostwriter, really a myriad of of ways of how I help. And one of the books that I, I helped create is called A Bum Deal, An Unlikely Journey from Hopeless to Humanitarian. And that is by Rufus Hanna and Barry Soper. I'm going to read an excerpt from that now. I sat in my seat, picked up the event program, and started reading it. There I was on the prestigious list of civil rights award recipients, Rufus Hanna. The program talked about how I, quote, overcame embarrassment, unemployment, alcoholism, and disabilities to turn his life around and in the process help others, end quotes. Was this me? Heck, I felt like I was reading about someone else. I picked up a pen and started jotting down some notes on the back of the program. I was supposed to give a speech when I got the award, but I had no idea what to say. Given what my life had been like in recent years, I felt as if this were some kind of bad dream. How do you sum up a whole life in a couple of minutes? especially one that started in such a distant place from where it was now. I thought about being born in a small southern town, beginning my life by drinking beer from a baby bottle, getting kicked out of school, the whole army disaster, the crazy van trip out west, train jumping, and then all those years I spent as a homeless drunk. And of course, the bum fights videos. When I risked life and limb for booze while some kids filmed the whole damn thing. Looking at all this on paper, I wondered how any man could have survived. I wondered how my body did survive, especially with all the alcohol I drank. I flipped the program over to see if there were any hints about what I was supposed to say. It mentioned things about the history of the civil rights award they'd be giving me. When I saw those words, civil rights, I instantly thought of great men like Martin Luther King Jr. and John F. Kennedy, certainly not me. As I continued reading through the program, marveling over the impressive list of recipients and their accomplishments, wondering how in the heck I was even in the same room with them, let alone on the same list, I noticed my hands. They were cracked and calloused from my work as a painter and handyman, but that's not what I was looking at. Even after a number of painful and expensive laser treatments, the letters were still there, tattooed across my knuckles. Bum fight. I thought about the damage these hands had done to me, and even worse, to my best friend. That again, that's from A Bum Deal, An Unlikely Journey from Hopeless to Humanitarian. You can get that on Amazon, wherever books are sold. Rufus Hanna and Barry Soper. Rufus Hanna, I just want to say, uh, you know, rest in peace. A couple years ago, Rufus tragically died in a motor vehicle accident back in his hometown in Georgia. Just a lovely man. I have such an honor for me to be of assistance on this book with Rufus and, and Barry. And just, you know, wonderful person, tragic circumstances of his life. And definitely worth a read. Read the story because how Rufus turned his life around is nothing short of a miracle. It was just some larger forces at work there. I firmly believe that. So again, A Bum Deal by Rufus Hanna and Mary Soper. And I hope you enjoyed this week's Sunday story time. And here's today's study question of how you can use what you just heard to help your own writing. So in what I just read to you, the excerpt, 
Rufus had a very dramatic life story, obviously, and he opened the book. That was the opening of the book, actually. And he opened his life story in present day where he was obviously doing well. And he did this to create a contrast with what would be coming next in the next pages, which were the most, you know, extremely troubling events of his past. The scene after that was going to be just like really, really graphic scene from those. I don't know if you guys have heard of those bum fights videos that back a couple decades ago. So he kind of flashed from that scene to the next one. So what he was doing was creating a contrast between, you know, everything's okay today, but not so much yesterday. So my question for you in your writing, where are the contrasts in your life where you can use a present day triumph to bridge to a more disturbing event of your past? So where are the contrasts in your life where you can, you know, pick something good in your present day, some kind of success story or triumph, victory, happy moment, and you can use that to find some kind of connective tissue to bridge it to a more disturbing event of your past. Like for Rufus, you saw what he was setting up there with, uh, you know, he was looking at his hands and he had the tattoos, the bum fight tattooed, uh, tattoos across his knuckle. That's actually, I'm looking at the cover of the book and that's actually turned into the cover of the book. And he talked about the damage his hands had done, especially to his best friend. And the next scene in the book was going to be how he was actually beating up his best friend as part of the bum fights videos. So that's why, he, that's how he bridged it. So think about how you can create such contrasts in your own writing. And be sure and drop by my Ink Authors group on Facebook to let me know what you think of Sunday Storytime, what you think of these book excerpts, any requests, and along with motivation, accountability, book writing and publishing resources, and so much more. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you write and finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone else who wants to do the same, I would love it if you would let them know about your daily writing habit. It airs on Amazon Alexa, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, every, everywhere where podcasts are played, your daily writing habit. Thank you very much. And until tomorrow, happy writing.